Sisters, it's Kristen, and I have a review for you guys today. I have been asked over and over and over again since I showed that I purchased this or since I've been using it in my Instagram lives, um, what I think of this, do I like it, that sort of thing. And this is the Kapari Starry Eye Balm. And I want to just... <laughs> There is things on the back of this, but you can't read it. And I tossed the box for some reason. I'm not sure why. But I have my laptop here, and I just want to say, I just want to read from Sephora. This is from Sephora's website. It says, a silky, nourishing coconut eye balm that delivers a dose of caffeine to depuff and illuminate tired eyes. And it says, so it's for puffiness, fine lines, wrinkles, and dark circles. So here's what I can speak to. I can't speak to the dark circles parts. I don't really struggle with that. So just kind of an FYI. But, um... I really wanted something, you know, I, I definitely have fine lines and wrinkles underneath my eyes, and I really was curious about this and wanted to try. I have used before, and so it's pretty much empty, but I have it here to show you, the Amazing Cosmetics Line Smoother and Primer, and it's the one that has little balls on it. Um, so I will say this off the bat, the experience of using this is a little more delightful because those little ball things are really nice and they're cooling and that sort of thing. Um, but overall, I feel like this performs better. So I love that one and I thought that the, the Amazing Cosmetics one was great until I started using this one. Um, so this really, it's just like, I'll show you, you know what I'm going to do? Let's cut to the... <laughs> right on top of things. Let's cut to the demo of me using it so you guys can see and then we'll come back and talk about it. Okay so application is really simple. I just use my ring finger and get around the product in there and then I just, it's, what's interesting is that it kind of has when you move your finger around in it and when you start to apply it, oh, I hesitate to say gritty but it almost has Part of it will have kind of like this funny little gritty feeling. I don't know why. And I don't know if they're all like that, but this one is. This is the only one I've had. And then when you start to spread it, though, you don't feel it at all. So it's interesting, right? And then this is about how much I'm using, in case you're curious. And then I just start in the outer corner and I work my way in. I feel I do that because it warms up as you're applying it. And I feel like with... When you start on the outer corner, that skin maybe isn't quite as delicate as the inner corner skin in, in my head. Anyway, that's the, and so I, you know, I start getting it warmed up on the outer corner and then bring it in here. And I just go down about that far. And I do that first and then I move on to my face primer or I try to anyway. Okay, so as you can see, it's just kind of like I, like I showed in there, just a, 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 a thick sort of balm, but it really it very easily gets smooth. I'm not quite sure how, hopefully you understand what I mean. It's not like a super hard balm. You know, like the Trader Joe's stuff. I like that on, you know, my skin sometimes that, oh, it's a Trader Joe's balm or whatever. That's really hard. You have to work kind of hard to get that to soften up. You don't have to work. It's hard to get this to soften up. And like I said in the demo, it does, it does kind of have, and I don't know why, it does kind of have this sort of gritty feel to it when you rub your finger in it and when you start to put it underneath your eyes. But that, that goes away and, and just, I don't know. It's, it must be part of the product. I don't really know. But um, it sells for $28, by the way, in case I didn't say that. And you can get it at Ulta and Sephora. And I just, it really smooths things underneath my eyes. I, I you know, hopefully you guys can see. Um, it's, I do have the By Terry Hydro Powder over the top of it. So there is that. I probably shouldn't have done that. But anyway, it's fine. Um... It just, I don't know, it just really tends to smooth things out. So I will say the one sort of negative to it is that there are some concealers, I've said this before, where I feel like you have to go in at least one or two times and kind of, you know, smooth it out with your finger or take a Q-tip in your fine lines and wrinkles to kind of get the excess out, that sort of thing. Um, and you for sure have to do that with every concealer when you use this. I would notice that. You know what I mean? So there... I feel like it's really emollient and once it's better for you to let it sit in your skin just a little bit. So I really like to use this right off the bat. First thing I put on my eyes, I try to remember anyway. First thing I put on my face is that and then I do my primer and then I do my foundation and then I do my face concealer and then I do my eye concealer just so that it has enough time to kind of soak in, do its job of, of, of puffing and kind of filling in. And I do feel like the effects of this last all day for me. And I, by all day, I would say probably eight-ish hours. I don't feel like it hurts the longevity of my concealer in any way. Um, I really feel like if you 
if you give it the time to sit in. If you put this on your eyes and then go right in with concealer, that will absolutely hurt the longevity of it. So for me, I like to apply it and give it some time. Kind of do some other things on your face and then come back and do your concealer. And I think that um, you will be happy with the outcome. Anyway, so hopefully that was helpful to you. Just a quick kind of review on a product that I have been enjoying lately. Um, I may try to do, you know, some more of these kind of quick, quick reviews on, on, you know, one or two product versus... You know, like when I do an empties or a haul and I talk about a whole bunch of things or rehaul. So anyway, yeah, so that is everything. If you're curious what's on my face, I will list it below for you. Um, and I have to get ready with me with this look actually coming up here shortly. So um, if that's if you're checking this out a week later, hopefully I've linked that below and, you know, everything is all linked and helpful for you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and in everything that you do and say be beautiful. Bye.